Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to walk you through the complete installation process of the fantastic Curdroid Custom ROM based on the latest Android 15 with the April 2025 security patch. Get ready to experience a smooth, feature-rich, and highly customizable Android experience on your device. This guide is for a first-time installation, also known as a clean flash. This means if you're coming from any other custom ROM or a different major Android version, these are the steps you'll need to follow. Important warning, the first-time installation process requires formatting your phone's internal storage. This will erase all your data, including photos, videos, messages, and downloads. So, please make absolutely sure you have backed up everything you want to keep before proceeding. We're not responsible for any lost data, so take this step seriously. All right, let's get started with the installation. You'll notice that some commands are prefixed with. It's crucial to keep this prefix when you run each command in your terminal if you are using platform tools. This ensures you're executing the correct file, especially if you have other tools installed on your computer. Of course, if you're an advanced user who knows how to manage your system's path variables, you can adjust as needed. Make sure you've downloaded the platform tool's latest .zip file. Unzip it to a location on your computer where you can easily access it through the terminal. Take all the Curdroid ROM files you downloaded, including boot image, bbmeta image, dtbo image, rom zip file super empty, gapps zip file. On your computer, open your terminal application, Windows Users, you must use PowerShell. The regular command prompt will not work correctly for this process. Mac OS and Linux users, you can use your preferred terminal application. Once open, navigate within the terminal to the platform tools directory where you placed and renamed the files. You can use the CD command for this. Now, let's get your phone into the bootloader. Unplug the USB cable from your phone, power it off completely. Then, press and hold all three hardware buttons simultaneously, the volume up button, the volume down button, and the power button. It's a good idea to quickly verify that your computer can communicate with your phone in bootloader mode. Plug the USB cable back into your phone and run the following command in your terminal. If everything is working correctly, you should see your phone's serial number listed. If you don't see it, you might need to troubleshoot your USB drivers. If you're using PowerShell version 7 or newer on Windows, Linux, or macOS, you can copy and paste this entire command into your terminal and run it. This command flashes the necessary partitions to boot into the custom recovery, enables support for dynamic partitions, and prepares the storage structure for the ROM. If you're using an older version of PowerShell that came with Windows 7, 8, or 10, it might not understand the AND and for combining commands. In that case, you'll need to run these commands one at a time. Copy and paste each line individually and press enter after each one. After running the fast boot erase commands, you might see a message asking if you meant to format instead. You can safely ignore this message, it's perfectly normal. Now, unplug the USB cable from your phone. On the bootloader screen, use the volume buttons to navigate through the options until you highlight recovery mode, then press the power button to select it. Recovery boot note, your phone might vibrate and reboot to the bootloader unlocked splash screen a couple of times before actually entering recovery. Don't worry, this is expected due to the way the kernel initializes dynamic partition support. Just be patient. Once your phone boots into the Curdroid recovery, you should see a screen with white text and orange accents on a black background. On this screen, tap on Advanced and then tap on Enter Fast Boot. This will boot your phone into what's called User Space Fast Boot Mode. Now, plug the USB cable back into your phone. Or you can use the same as me, don't reboot, just run the commands in same fast boot. Now, run the following two commands in your terminal, one after the other. These commands initialize the super partitions with the necessary metadata for Curdroid in both slots on your device. 
If you get an error message in your terminal saying that wipe super is not recognized or if you see a long help message instead. It means one of two things, either you're using a very old version of the fast boot executable or your phone is still in the regular OEM bootloader instead of the fast boot mode within the Curdroid recovery. Please go back to the beginning of this guide and make sure you've downloaded the latest version of the platform tools. Also, double check that you successfully booted into Enterfast boot mode from within the Curdroid recovery. This step is absolutely necessary for the installation to work correctly. On your phone, use the volume buttons and power button to navigate back to the main recovery menu. Choose Apply Update and then select Apply from ADB. Your phone should now be displaying a message indicating that it's waiting to receive a side load package from your computer. Now, on your computer, run the following command in your terminal to begin installing the Curdroid ROM, you'll see the installation process begin. On your computer, it will usually pause around 47%, don't worry, this is normal. At this point, your phone will likely prompt you to reboot back into recovery. This is to allow you to flash any additional components like Google Apps or Microg. On your phone, once you've rebooted back into recovery, go to Apply Update again and then select Apply from ADB. Then, on your computer, run the following command, again making sure to replace GAPPS or micraj install package.zip with the correct name of your downloaded file. Since this is a clean installation, you must perform a factory reset. In the recovery menu on your phone, navigate back to the top level menu and choose the factory reset option. Confirm that you want to proceed. This step is not optional if you want proper support and a stable system. All right, we're almost there. Disconnect the USB cable from your phone. Navigate back to the top level menu in the recovery one last time and choose reboot system now. Congratulations, your phone should now boot into your brand new Curdroid custom ROM based on Android 15. The first boot might take a little longer than usual, so be patient. Once it boots up, you can go through the initial setup process and start exploring all the amazing features Curdroid has to offer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more custom ROM installation guides and tech tips. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you run into any issues. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.